Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have my August book haul. The first book that I bought in August was Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders. This book has been long listed for the Booker Prize. It has done the rounds on YouTube, Booktube, every single flaming article that came out about the books to look out for this year mentioned this book. George Saunders is a celebrated short story writer and this is his first novel following the death of Abraham Lincoln's son and then is told from the point of view of all these ghosts in a graveyard where he's been interred and then his father comes along and spends some time with him and it talks about grief, death, mortality, all that fun stuff and yeah, I've read it I've done a small review in my wrap-up, so yeah, I did enjoy it. Next, I bought The Decameron by Giovanni Boccaccio. Because of Adam at Memento Mori, he is holding a read-along this month for this book. Last year he did Dante's Inferno. This year I thought that I would try and actually read it. Uh, it was supposed to start on the 1st of September. I have still yet to finish the introduction. I am very grateful for being ill because he is really just killed me and I don't understand why our bodies do this to us because what is the point we're all gonna die one day anyway why are you inflict this upon us in life anyway fittingly this book talks about the black death and then I received three things about Elsie by Joanna Cannon this is the proof copy the finished cover looks absolutely amazing it looks like Battenberg and we will have to try and convince the dogs not to eat it this book follows Florence, who has had a fall in her house. She is in a residential care home, and she is waiting for somebody to come and help her. The book go then goes on to talk about what has gone on in Florence's life that has led her to this point. Throughout the book, Florence is worried about a secret from her past, because a man she believed dead has just reappeared after 60 years. Because she is older, a lot of people aren't believing her, and this book just is incredibly tense. It is practically a psychological thriller, and you wouldn't think that from the Battenberg. I have read it already. I heartily recommend that when this book does come out, everybody goes out and reads it, because it is absolutely brilliant. And it by far surpassed The Trouble with Goats and Sheep for me. And Joanna Cannon has definitely risen to being one of my favourite writers at this point. Anyway, them's the books. This month I didn't have a lot of money left because I had to purchase all of my author copies of Our Doris and Indisputably Doris, which didn't leave me with a lot of money to buy books. So there was definitely some cherry picking going on. In fact, I went mad at the library and got a lot of books out from there, which I don't think I'm ever going to get around to reading before the final renewal date, so that's that. Anyway, what books have you bought this month? If you'd like to discuss any of these books, please feel free to do so down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, that is all.